Ooh, there we go. We finally got one, y'all. It's not a waste of a trip. <laughs> you probably can't hear me, but we had cast that click. We're just gonna make it happen. Well, we're gonna try to make it happen. So, what I recommend you guys do is always check the Department of Fishing Game uh, website to see when they plant fish. Uh, because when they plant fish, you will be able to see, you know, where they're stocking at. And if you check the website, it says they stock Cast Egg Lake uh, this week. And pretty soon, if you look there, you'll see that there's probably a few lakes near you that they recently stocked with trout. The cool thing about when they stock trout is for those that want to catch a trout, you can try to catch the trout. And then for the others who like to, you know, go for the big bass or the big striper, those fish will start biting trout or, or hitting trout like bait. So, you know, either way, it's good fishing for whoever is willing to come out here and, and give it a try. So um, today, honestly, I wasn't expecting all this wind, so I don't even care <laughs> what we catch. I just want to catch something. So I would normally fish over there where all those people are, or right down there. But with all these waves and all this wind, it's blowing that way. So it's gonna be hard to cast. This very well may just be, may end up being a dry run, but it's still, you know, I still enjoy being outside and getting outside, outside of the part of the lake, you know. You kind of taste it. Seen some little bait fish jumping right here very close too so i feel like they're running from something so let's right about there We got one, y'all. We got one. We recording. Oh, we got a little trout. Woo, there we go. Finally got one, y'all. It's not a waste of a trip. I think it's right on the top of the lip. All right, I'm gonna beach him. Nice little rainbow. Right on the top of the lip. Thank you, little rainbow. Appreciate the bite. Well, we ended up with one fish. We're back at the house. Time to clean it up. All we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it gut it and cook it. I'm pretty sure lots of you have done this before, but to those of you that have not cleaned a fish before, especially a trout, they have very small scales. So all you gotta do is come at the end of it and scrape towards the front. And that's basically it. You just scrape the scales off. And because they're really small, they'll come right off. And it's, they look, they're like that, just that much. So you just scrape, 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 and get all the scales off. Nothing special. All right, now that I got the scales off, I'm just gonna gut the fish, and you just come in from here, split them up the middle, pull the gills and everything out. All right, so I'm just gonna go. Whoop, whoop. Right, 
No. So if you like cut right here behind the tongue. cut right there. I like to cut down through the gills also. And then if so if you stick your thumb down right here where the where the mouth is and you pull back pretty much everything should come right out. And that's everything out in one smooth swoop. Now we just cut this Clean that out. And again, you can use whatever you want. Use a spoon. You can use your teeth if you want to. I don't care. But the main thing is just to get it out. I just cut it. And then I use the spoon to scrape it out. This is a DFG, Department Fishing Game uh, stocking. So it's not gonna be like a wild trout. Give us a little rinse. Simple as that, it's clean. All right, so we all cleaned up now. I'm just gonna cut this head off because <clears throat> it's more like it won't fit in the pants. So I'm just gonna. All right, we'll get rid of the head and we're gonna keep it simple cook a hole like that. But before I do that, I'm going to score the skin. We'll score it here. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Yeah, I know my knife is dull, but it is what it is. All right, so first I'm just gonna pour a little oil this is grapeseed oil, by the way. A little grapeseed oil, rub it all in. Now I'm gonna go with uh, lemon pepper. Get on the inside. Garlic powder. Coarse ground pepper. Like an extra peppery, y'all. Paprika. Right. Yeah, I need to get the stove fixed, but whatever. I like my onions to be pretty, pretty brown. So I'm just gonna. And the fish don't take long to cook. So I'm gonna throw my onions in first. Once they start to cook down a little bit, I'll add my fish. gonna add just a sliver of butter just a little butter Now I just let the other side cook. I probably should be timing this, but I just kind of, I go with the feeling, you know, when I, when I feel like flipping it, that's when I flip it. So. Gotta have avocado. Hmm. Fairly good one. 
a little black pepper, lemon pepper. And I use a spoon trick. You can spoon to get it out. Whoop. That way you get all the get all of the avocado out of there. Now I know this isn't the most colorful or prettiest presentation, but it don't matter much to me right now. But then we take our fish, whoop de whoop, and I'm gonna top it with a few some of the caramelized onions. All right, so that's the finished product. It looked burnt, but it don't don't trip. It ain't burnt. It's just a little bit Charizard, just a little Charizard. I like it like that. I don't know how many of you ever been to Kava. I don't know what kind of dressing this is, but it's the green one. You know what? I, I got a salad from there. I said, let me get some of that green stuff. And so I'm going to use it on my stuff right here. So pop that off and give it a little. It, this stuff is fire right here. I love this stuff. Get that little drizzle on the salad. Put that on the salad dad like so and we good to go. Well, uh, we're done. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so we all know that this is the DFG uh, Department Fishing Game uh, Trout. They don't taste as good as something from Mount Lassen or a wild trout, but we are gonna try it out, okay. Don't be afraid to cook it whole because it'll come right off the bone too, look. Comes right off the bone just like that. You do it this way so you can see. See that? Flakes right off the bone. There may be a few pin bones here and there, but I ain't worried about it. A few pin bones. Hmm. <laughs> it turned out fire. This is to be completely honest with you. I think this thing is is bomb. From what I remember of trout, it don't taste like trout. Maybe I'm tripping, but it's giving me it's giving me more catfish vibes. Like I don't know if it's the way I cooked it or what, but it's like it's real soft. It don't have a fishy taste at all. I mean. I don't know if it has anything to do with, I just caught it and I'm cooking it the very very same day. Man, I am surprised at the taste of this fish. It is it is very good. I, for, the long, for the longest, I've always just didn't even pretend like I was gonna keep uh, a department fishing game uh, trout, rainbow trout. They're definitely fun to catch. They're smaller, but I don't know, I just never been a fan. But this thing is pretty damn delicious. So I will be continuing to target them and keep them. And if you're lucky, if you're cool peoples, I'll give you some too. But with that said, y'all, trout season is officially here. If they're starting to stock Castaic Lake, Lake Silverwood, and what have you, I will go on the Department Fishing Game stocking schedule. Look up that website and then just look and see what lakes are being stocked near you and go ahead and give it a try. I'll be making more baits, doing more giveaways, and they might be some questions sprinkled in the uh, in the video. So it's beneficial for you. If you wanna win, a, win some free jigs, great. You know, be paying attention to the old videos and new videos and, and look for some questions here and there about past content or whatever. Whoever gets the questions correctly will get it some free jig. If you don't want to participate that way, that's cool too. But for those that do, I appreciate you for watching the whole video. So that's the reason why I put those questions in there. So you can win something without it being a raffle, without any chance. If you answer first, you win, you get free jigs. And what can I say? They work. Well, that said, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And like always, if I don't see you out in the water, I'll catch you in this video. Peace out.